Alright, so this is the last part of the lecture, which is we will look at the rhetorical strategy of ethos and also the rhetorical strategy of pathos. So, rhetorical strategy of ethos is actually your personality or your, or your personalness. Okay, so as a speaker, your audience will look at your good character, which is um, includes your good will or your intention. What is your intention in persuading them? Okay, is it a good intention to help change their life for better or to give them good knowledge to help them change what uh, belief they had, you know, negative belief about themselves? So, your intention. What is your intention? Empathy is the ability for you when you persuade, you are also able to empathize. You are able to relate to them. Responsive is you are able to acknowledge their feedback, provide appropriate feedback. That is conveying good character. Competence, conveying competence and credibility is your own competence, your own um, ability to pr present or tell or send knowledge to your audience about a particular topic. Okay, so your ability to use a non-verbal element to actually enhance your image as a competent person, you are able to be, you, you are able to use evidence from different sources to show that you're credible enough and who you are, your background, your background itself, you are an expert in a particular field that shows you are, you have ethos, okay, or you can convey competence and credibility. When it comes to pathos, it always relates to the heart and the emotion. So when you want to persuade someone, you can actually motivate them to find solution for whatever that is um, their discomfort. Okay, so whatever they are feeling not right about themselves, you can invoke that negativity or negative emotion, motivate them to change it to positive. But if they are really positive, then you can make them to sustain and develop that positive, positive feeling or positive emotion within themselves. For example, they are really wanting to be successful. You add on to that. You persuade them to be better person. All right? So that is um, evoking positive emotion. So these are the two rhetorical strategies besides logical argument. So the three um, rhetorical strategy helps you to become a persuasive speaker. Okay, so these are persuasive. This is persuasive speech, and further of this, we will discuss in class.